For years, uterine and other reproductive cancers went unrecognized as 9-11 related illnesses. But now that's all changing. Teresa Priola joins us live from the newsroom with one woman's story. Teresa. Natasha and Steve, it wasn't until women who had lived or worked in lower Manhattan began getting sick and coming forward to talk about their illnesses that the connection was made between the toxins at ground zero on 9-11 and endometrial and uterine cancers. Now one victim, who because she is terminal had her claim expedited, has been awarded money to help with her medical care. Prior to January 18, 2023, her cancer was not recognized as being linked to the 9-11 toxins. For the first time since 9-11, a victim with a type of endometrial cancer has been awarded a substantial sum of money. The payout and acknowledgement that her illness is directly linked to 9-11. Sour Director is a partner at the law firm handling her claim. Not a day goes by that we don't get new clients calling us, that we don't get family members saying, my loved one, my, my wife, my sister, my aunt, my mother passed away from uterine cancer. And it wasn't until now that we connected the dots. This victim is in her 60s and has chosen to remain anonymous. The money will help her family care for someone with a terminal diagnosis. She was not a first responder. She was an office worker. She went to work every day after 9-11 because she was told the air was safe and she had to go back to work. She is you, she is me, she is the people we see commuting on the trains in Lower Manhattan. It has taken 22 years for endometrial cancers to be recognized, in part because most of the data on 9-11 illnesses was coming from first responders, the vast majority of which are men. This is but one fight for 9-11 advocate. So every step of the way since 9-11 has been a battle for us. It's been an obstacle, it's been a wall, it's been a hurdle. It's been denial, it's been neglect, it's been poor leadership, and here we are still fighting. The Victims' Compensation Fund is fully funded through 2090. Victims are eligible for lost wages, pain and suffering, and wrongful death. You're allowed to file multiple claims to help fight multiple issues. But here's the thing about the World Trade Center Health Program. You have a higher success uh, 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 survival rate in the 9-11 community than the general population community, because these doctors, have 22 years now of expertise in environmental diseases that attack these organs. 9-11 advocates tell me that the next fight will be trying to get Pentagon victims and first responders added to the Victims' Compensation Fund. Stephen Natasha. All right, Teresa, thank you.